Good evening. Very pleased to be here. I didn't realize it was Delta Lambda night. I might not have come. <laughs> Just kidding. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and brothers. As I put my glasses on so that I can read, uh, I'm very pleased to be standing here before this extraordinary organization and the many exceptional people that comprise it. I am forever grateful for this fraternity and its many members that have made my life richer, more successful, happier, and much more meaningful. And although I am not a humble person, I am truly <laughs> humbled. You're not supposed to laugh at that point. <clears throat> I am truly humbled to be before you this evening. The Loyalty Award is presented to a single alum alumnus for his longtime dedication and devotion to Pi Kappa Alpha. When I arrived yesterday, a friend for over 35 years asked me why I was here. I then said, I came to give out the Loyalty Award. He quickly responded, then I know who is getting the Loyalty Award. And now I am up here. Everyone who's been around for this fraternity for any length of time knows as well. So the mystery is over. I'm here to give the Loyalty Award to my friend, mentor, and brother, Charles R. Barnes III. He is here this evening with his lovely wife, Connie, who, as we all know, must be an extremely patient person. <laughs> but let me share a bit with you about Charlie's professional achievements, his career, his civic achievements, and his work within Pi Kappa Alpha. Charlie served as a professional fundraiser for Florida State's athletic programs. He worked alongside with Andy. He served as, as executive director and vice president of Seminole Boosters, an organization responsible and ranked among the nation's top collegiate booster organizations since the late 70s. In this position, Charlie was responsible for alumni fund, I'm sorry, for annual fund operations, including direct mail, production of all marketing materials, strategic planning, telemarketing, and the development and supervision of over 600 volunteers. During this time, he was a prolific author, writing numerous newspaper and magazine articles in addition to donor recognition copy and fund solicitation materials. His career with FSU spanned over 35 years. While at Florida State, Charlie was honored in 2012 with the Langford Award, which recognizes leadership and lifetime achievement serving the best interest of Florida State University. He was also honored with the Guardian of the Flame Legacy Award and inducted into the Circle of Gold. What these awards don't really tell you, however, is the true magnitude of these accomplishments and what Charlie, along with Andy, and Coach Bowden were able to achieve. In effect, FSU athletics were transformed into a dynasty that it has become today. Millions of dollars were raised, alumni clubs were established in various cities, communication was enhanced, and as a result, the football pro program and university have flourished into the nationally prominent program that it is today. At retirement, Charlie's roast pretty much told the story of his career at Florida State. I was privileged to, privileged to be there, but I was shell-shocked at the magnitude of the event and the number of people there. There were hundreds of people there, like this event tonight. It was a great time, it was a celebration of his career, and people were thrilled to be there to share his retirement with him. The event was held at a first-class venue, the stadium club was unbelievable, and the facility, if you haven't seen it at Florida State, rivals Big Ten universities that have had, had football teams for 100 years past Florida State. It's truly an exceptional opportunity. I didn't say we were better. <laughs> In sum, Charlie played a critical role, along with other fraternity brothers, Andy and Coach Bowden, in raising FSU to a first-class, nationally prominent program. But prior to his work with FSU, Charlie served our country 
as an officer in the U.S. Army. He was selected to command a Special Forces Ground Combat Advisory Team in Vietnam, where he successfully led combat units in ground and air mobile operations. As a result, Charlie received various military decorations. That makes him a hero in my mind, and I thank him for his service to our country and all those present who served our country in the armed forces and for, the, and for their service and time and commitment. With regards to community, civic involvement, Charlie was involved there, of course, as well. His service did not end with military. He served as president and chairman of the Tiger Bay Club, was a founding member of the Capital City Republican Club. His charitable and volunteer work has been on behalf of United Way, the Humane Society, the Boy Scouts of America, Student Scholarship Initiative of the Public Relations Association, and Cancer Awareness. In 1998, he was named Republican of the Year, just slightly to the left of me. In Pi Cap Alpha, well, that wasn't funny. Pi Cap Alpha, Charlie served Delta Lambda Chapter at Florida State as Rush Chairman. In that role, Charlie has frequently been named as the single catalyst responsible for his chapter's rise to prominence at a dynastic level. One brother wrote, Charlie has probably done more than any single individual to make Delta Lambda Chapter the number one fraternity of Florida State. His contributions to our chapter's growth are immeasurable, in my opinion. This view is shared by many of our other brothers who have known Charlie over the years. He is truly a dedicated Pike, and we are very fortunate to have him in our bonds. He served on the headquarters professional staff as a consultant and director of expansion as well. And he has been an omnipresent advisor to his chapter and served as president of its alumni association. Charlie served as national rush director from 1977 to 1982, and during that term, developed and defended the Pike Rush program that we use today. Following his tenure as Rush Director, he served three term, I'm sorry, two terms on our Board of Trustees as the Supreme Council Vice President. What this does not tell you, however, is how impactful and difficult Charlie's work for the fraternity has been. The Rush program we now have been using since Charlie has resulted in transforming what was a top-notch national fraternity into consistently the most successful international fraternity from 1978 until today. And 1978 is the first year that we were ranked the number one national fraternity by statistical ranking service, Wilson Heller, that no longer exists because he passed away. And many men have contributed to that unprecedented rise of our fraternity, but I believe one determinative factor clearly was Charlie Barnes. And his rush program focused on discipline, business, and marketing principles and excellence. And these are initiatives fostered, initiated, and preferred by Pat Halloran. Moreover, his contributions are even more important because at the time, the cold hard reality of business rush and behavioral psychology were not well received. And Charlie fought a very uphill battle with our governance, our alumni, because that's not how we did business in the past. And it was slow, and it was painful, and it was difficult. I succeeded Charlie as National Rush Director, and because of the path that he paved, my job was one heck of a lot easier. For me, it wasn't painful or difficult at all because of what Charlie did. I was an undergraduate, and I tried it both ways. I lived under the old rush system, I lived under the Charlie Barnes rush system, and they weren't even comparable. One worked okay, and the other transformed our chapter. It was a, it, once you live through it, you feel it, you breathe it, you're never gonna change your mind again, and it really wasn't a close call at all. So I became a missionary very early in the going because of my direct experience. It was not a close call, and the fun, the challenge, the friendships, and the joys of that time in transforming our chapter into a dominant fraternity on our campus made me a true believer, and as I stand here today, I'll believe this until the day I die, this program is legendary and critical in the future success of Pi Kappa Alpha. In the files 
of our fraternity. Letters, comments, letters to the Shield and Diamond, chapter uh, consultant reports are riddled with accolades for Charlie and his program. There were so many it was difficult to pick from, but I picked two quick ones I wanted to share with you. One was from National President John Williams, who was also a loyalty award winner, when he was president of his chapter, Gamakai. In his letter to the headquarters, he says, I wish to thank the national office for their aid in informing Brother Charlie Barnes of our situation. His stay with us this weekend was of great value to Gamakai. In the area of knowledge of effective fraternity administration, especially in the area of Rush, he was great. But beyond this, Charlie transmitted a sense of motivation and enthusiasm to the chapter that was sorely needed as we begin our summer rushing program. He displayed a type of personal concern and passion that one would expect to be rendered only by a student member of our active chapter. In per personifying the unity and concern of a national fraternity, Charlie Barnes left Gamma Chi a wealth of rushing methods and personal motivation which, with which to successfully meet our goal. In the bonds, John Michael Williams. Another brother wrote, quite simply, Rush is the reason for our tremendous success. For the past seven years, the famous Charlie Barnes rush technique has been in effect. Charlie's work in Pi Kappa Alpha was, in a word, transformative. His brilliance, leadership, and quick wit inspired others and steadily pushed our fraternity along with the help and support of others toward exceptionalism. As a result, we find ourselves at the pinnacle of the fraternity world as we sit here today by every possible metric you could consider. Number one in initiations among all fraternities. Number one in pledgings among all fraternities. Number one in average chapter size, with 70% of our chapters rated near excellent or better. With record-breaking, unprecedented foundation results and unprecedented values-based education presented to record-setting numbers to our undergraduate brothers. Charlie Barnes is a warrior with a great sense of honor, strong strategic planning skills, extraordinary writing and speaking skills, and most importantly, a deep love of our fraternity. He has been a friend, a mentor, and a brother to me like few others have been. To borrow a title from an article that Charlie wrote for the Shield and Diamond in 1980, Will the best, most visionary, most passionate, and most successful rush director in the history of the Greek system please stand up? Brother Charlie Barnes. I, um, I look out at the uh, faces of all the undergraduates that are here, and I, uh, I remember that I was an undergraduate sitting where you are now. And when I was an undergraduate sitting where you are now, I never imagined, never dreamed that when I reached this point in my life, closer to the end than the beginning, that I could look back over my life and I would know that everything that is important to me, my precious friends, precious friends, my wife, my life, my family, my career, everything that I hold dear came to me through Pi Kappa Alpha. Never intended that to happen. And um, 
From time to time, I sort of amuse myself by thinking, wondering if I could ever pay them back, if I could ever pay the fraternity back for all that it's given me. And from time to time, I thought, yes, maybe I could. But um, with this wonderfully generous award that you've given me tonight and honored me with, I, I know that that's now impossible. I can never repay you, but know that you are always in my affections. Thank you.